Jeremy again, and I'm here um, to do another book review for you. And today I am reviewing Crescendo by Becca Flipspatrick. This is the second book in the Hush Hush saga by her. Um, and just like I was doing, I'm going to in, to um, read the inside flap for you. Nor Gray's life is still far from perfect. Surviving a attempt on on her life wasn't pleasant, but at least she's got a guardian angel out of it. A mysterious, majestic, gorgeous guardian angel, but despite his role in her life, Patch has still been acting anything but angelic. He's still exclusive than ever, if that's possible, and what's worse, he seems to be spending um, time with Nora's arch enemy, Mercy Midler. Nora would have Nora would have hardly noticed Scott Pardell, an old family friend who is who has moved back to town if Patch hasn't been so distant. He, even with Scott totally being with his attitude, Nora finds herself drawn to him despite her lingering feelings and that he is hiding something. If if that weren't true enough Nora is haunted by images of her murdered father and comes to question whether her Nephilim bloodline has to do with it. His death, despite to figure out what happened, she puts herself in increasingly dangerous situations to get the answer, but maybe some things are better left buried because the truth could destroy everything and everyone she trusts. I have to say one thing about this book. This book was so much different from Hush Hush, but it was not. But it was a nice extension into the series. It brought a lot of elements that weren't there. It brought a brought. Um, now the plot twist for this one was so much bigger than the one for Hush Hush, and I will tell you guys one thing. I loved this book except for when Nora got on my last nerve in this book. If it was possible to jump through a book and smack somebody, I wanted to, I wanted to do this like every other chapter with her. She's very annoying. She she was um she was always saying uh, just just how things she said. Um, we get to learn a little bit more about the black hand in this book, and by the end of it, you will know who the black hand is. You will also um, get to know who who murdered Mur um, Nora's father. I was about to say Mercy Midler's father in the beginning. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but um, 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 I do want to say I do apologize because um, I know how long it's been since I did my review for Hush Hush. Um, I did my review for Hush Hush five months ago. It's just um, I was in college, and then I wasn't in college anymore, and so I've just been so confused on everything else, and I've just been so crazy busy and everything, and... Um, Sorry, guys. I don't mean to be, but um, uh, I don't want to say. I, uh, I I want to point out a few things about the cover. Number one, I love Nor standing there like that. I love the lightning bolt that that comes down like that. I love the the feather that could have possibly have been in her hand that just kind of flew. I love in the book it's raining on the cover. It looks like it's raining, and then if you look really close. You can see that, and, it, and they also did that to the back. I love the side of the book, um, um, and um, it says the sequel to the New York Times bestseller, Hush Hush. Um, this book, um, I, I do have to say one thing. The plot twist caught me completely off guard. I was not expecting it. Um, and to me, I just want to look at some of the outdoor characters. Um, you get to you get to know more things about Nora's father that we didn't get to learn in Hush Hush. We get to learn a huge plot that involves her mother. Um, we get to learn more about Mercy's father, Hank Miller, and you will and you will understand why if you read it. I'm gonna try not to um, put some major spoilers, but but before I tell you this, um, if you've not read Hush Hush and you've not already read this book, I would not be watching this review. So please, if you've not read this book, then please stop now. Um, but um, anyway, we learn that Rickson was the one that was responsible for killing Nora's father, and 
originally I thought it was the Black Hand, which the Black Hand turned out to be Hank Miller. And what I really found out is, um, as you read in the book, um, Nora's father that we that we all thought was Nora's father is actually not her father. But I'm not going to tell who the who who Nora's real father is because to me that was the biggest thing in the book. And I and to me, if someone spoiled that for me, I would be very upset. But um, um, right now. Um, Right now, um, I was going to be reading Linger by Maggie Steve Otter, but instead, since, since I don't want you guys to wait for so long for the, ne for the next one, I will be reading Silence, also by her. And um, I've only read the prologue, so I've just barely started. Um, I also want to say on this book, um, um, it's take me about two weeks to finish it. Because I because I kind of want to slow down in this one because because it, it's a bit longer so don't feel like you have to wait forever but as soon as I'm done with this book I will put it up and do my re my review for it as soon as possible but I hope you guys have, I hope you guys enjoyed my review for Crescendo and I will see you guys in the next video all right bye.